if you are not a 5 a.m girly if you're not a morning girly if you don't do the waking up early but you're trying to get into this space so you can maximize more of your time throughout the day so you can actually build this content creation career with me then here's how i suggest you do it okay girl so let's start with the fact that hey <laughs> we're giving podcasts right now just because i'm holding this mic you feel me okay so let's go ahead and get into the must try daily schedule structure okay for fashion content creators it's going to be very friendly for starting your day off super slow and easy and i think that's what really makes this successful oh and let me just preface the fact that if you hear any jingling in the background it's because my kitten is actually right there he's um just probably watching me Oh no, he's asleep. He's not worried about me. That's Jax in the background, okay? The first thing that I wanna mention is sleep. Sleep is so important, you guys. It's a lot when you're trying to work a full-time job, when you're managing your life and then you're trying to manage this business as a content creator, it can get heavy. Now me, I noticed that my body sleeps in seven hour increments and then I'm waking up. And so what I suggest there and just figuring out how much sleep you need, give yourself at least eight hours, a span of time that you know you're in no rush to get up in the morning and then go to bed and see what time your body naturally wakes up. Then count the hours that you slept and then test that the next night. And that's how you can customize your sleep schedule for yourself because everybody doesn't necessarily need the same amount of sleep. But me, I'm a sleeper. <laughs> Baby, I need rest, okay? So when I get up at five, basically use 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. to immediately come to my desk, which I'm sitting at right now, and I start to work on my brand and my business. I dedicate three hours of time to work on content, also working on my website because I am working on building a content creator business, which I will explain more about throughout these videos. Yeah, that's my dedicated time to get straight into content, my brand and business. Then from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. is when I spend time with God. Centering God in the middle of what I'm doing is so important to me. I wanna be in relationship with him and be able to hear his guidance, his advice, what he has for me. And so right now I'm spending time like reading about the story of David. You know, I always grew up feeling like you could only have a purpose through God if it was like something in the church. And so for him to be talking to me about my purpose being through content creation, especially like fashion style content creation, it was really hard for me to really receive that because it felt like it can't be that, you know? And so I think God really brought the story of David to me because David was anointed by God to be king, even though he was doing something very normal to our day to day, you know, like king, government, that type of aspect, God was still heavily a part of it and was able to be glorified through what he did. That's what I'm currently like studying and learning how to receive what God is calling me to purpose in. And then from 9 a.m. to 9.30 is when I give myself time to get ready for the gym. This is where I'm getting more active. From 9.30 to 10.30, as my actual workout, 10.30 to 11.30, I am taking a shower, getting dressed for the day, having breakfast. And essentially this is where I'm starting to transition into my actual day. From 11.30 to 12, I kind of give myself just a second to like chill, you know, get on my phone, you know, do a little mindless scrolling. And then from 12 o'clock to 8 p.m. is basically my day. It's where all my errands are. It's where any meetings that I have. It's where I hang out with my family. Ed, it's all my free time. It's the schedule where if I need to get something done, that's the time frame that it's going to show up in. And then from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., I give myself a little bit of time to unwind from the day. That's when I started doing my nighttime routine, just like tidying up from my day and then ultimately I'm in the bed by 10 o'clock so that I can prioritize that seven hours of sleep that we talked about and be up the next day for 5 a.m. Girl, that is my daily schedule. And like I said, I really like, even just from the first day that I started doing this, I saw just how like beneficial it really was for me. And I, I really felt how much I liked it and I felt aligned with it. When I was trying to be a 5 a.m. girl before, I would actually get up and go straight to the gym, but it was just a little too active, like too quick. You know, I needed to kind of ease into my day. And so starting with just working on my content, working on my business and spending time with God first allows it to be just slow enough, but also active enough to get me going. 
you know, to make sure I'm hitting all those things that matter to me in each day. I highly suggest you try this out and I would love to hear if it's effective for you. And basically right now, I'm just really working on being consistent with sticking to that. Really my whole purpose um, coming back into this channel is around the topic of fashion content creation. And honestly, like I always say to myself, like if I could get paid to create content full time, like that would be my zhuzh, okay? But the truth of the matter is, I think there's a part of me that is like a little nervous about becoming my own boss fully and has made it a little bit of a struggle to like truly step into this space up until now. Because girl, I've literally been in this space for probably, I wanna say like seven years or so. I even remember when Instagram first came out and I was in college because I very specifically remember this one day I was sitting in a lecture with my college friend at the time and I was looking at how she was getting all these likes and I was not. <laughs> and that's what really started me in social media. That was my first impression of Instagram. But by the grace of God, okay, because he has come in and he has given my life purpose. And interestingly enough, he's showing me that he is actually aligned with me or I am aligning with him okay, how am I trying to say this? <laughs> really what I'm learning is that God actually intends for me to do my work through content. So, which is really exciting and new and scary and like all these different things. But I wanted to do this channel to be able to like share what I'm learning, whatever's in the bag, you feel me? I just want to be able to share it here authentically as I step into this space in a full-time capacity. I hope that you will find a lot of value here on this channel. And I think you will. My videos are really going to be focused on like, topics and all of these things truly i want to say i am no expert in this field yet okay period i am becoming where i am at and where i will be speaking from is just the trial and error that i have up until this point and truly from what god is just guiding me to do and i'm excited to just to be anchoring god into the middle of this conversation here on my channel as well because i am a firm believer in the fact that man like he's such a key resource in our life because he has the ability to give us insight that it's just hard to come across. He just has a way of really just speaking to us and really guiding us in a way that like specifically fits who we are as individuals. So very excited about it. We can look forward to more videos that are focusing on fashion content creation, basically the workflow of being a content creator, especially if you work a nine to five, like I do, okay, we got to play the balancing act until we can fully step into our content creation dream. I'm excited to be restarting my channel with you guys and I'm excited for what's to come. And you know, that's it for this video. If you wanna pick up this schedule like in a clean document where it's all written out for you, I'm gonna link that in the description box so that way you can just like download it to your phone or even print it out. And don't forget to like this video if you haven't already liked this video. I do definitely invite you to hit the subscribe button before you go as well. And I will meet you right back here, okay, at the desk for the next video. Bye.